For data scientists, effective comparison of multiple runs is crucial during machine learning experimentation. In Neptune, this process is made easy with a range of comparison views and tools. In this video, we'll explore how to use charts to compare those runs, delve into the usefulness of the parallel coordinates plot for hyperparameter optimization, discover how the side-by-side -side view simplifies comparison of specific values, we'll learn how we can compare images effectively, and finally, how the scatter graph is useful for comparing large data sets. But before we get into that, we need to choose the experiments we want to compare. By clicking on the eye icon next to each experiment, we can select the ones we're interested in. Let's pick six to compare for now. Now that we've selected our experiments, we can begin to compare them using charts. Let's head over to the Compare Runs tab. In the Charts section, you'll see line graphs overlaid on top of each other. Each line on these charts represents a different experiment or run. You can hover over the charts to see a legend of the values of all runs at any given point. Clicking and dragging allows you to zoom in on a particular area you're interested in. Let's reset this back to how it was. A very cool feature that we have is the concept of grouping runs. And what we can do here is if I select all 47 runs that I have, and then group by an owner of the specific run, I can then average out the values of these runs. You see, I now have two line charts instead of all 47. And each of these lines represent a group. So we have each of the user's experiments here. So the solid line here is the average, while the shadows around it are the minimums and maximums. Imagine you're experimenting with 10 different learning rates along with various other combinations. By grouping runs based on learning rates, you can quickly identify which rates consistently underperform compared to others. This enables you to streamline your process by focusing only on the configurations that yield the best results. Now, another way to compare your experiments visually is through the parallel coordinates plot. This is a regular way of analyzing your hyperparameter optimization jobs. Here, each line represents a specific experiment, and each of the columns represents either a metric or a hyperparameter that you have logged into Neptune. You can have more, but right here we only have those six that we selected. You can then analyze them by selecting specific bounds that you're interested in and also doing it for each of the columns so you can better understand what bounds of hyperparameters produce specific bounds of metrics. In this case, we have the validation dice coefficient. You also have the side-by-side -side view, which is a very convenient way for us mere humans to more easily compare different values against each other. So instead of using the runs table, you would usually use this for comparison because you can fit more unique hyperparameter types in a single view. This table is big, so if you've logged, let's say, 10,000 unique values, unique namespaces, you will be able to see all of it here. And Neptune is very scalable, so we can log 10,000, 100,000, and even more unique metadata points. For this specific table, it could be useful to only filter rows that have any differences between them against the pinned column, or even showcasing what exactly happened. Did the values increase? Did they decrease, or maybe some string value has changed? We can also compare image metadata side by side in the Neptune dashboard. In the Images tab, you can compare images between selected runs. In this example, these are computer vision data samples, but this comparison view may also be useful when you want to compare custom metrics logged as images. Finally, we have scatter plots. If you have a lot of data that you want to compare or see how they relate to each other, this is a really useful visualization tool. In this example, the plot gives us a representation of where each point in the entire dataset are present with respect to accuracy and loss. So to recap, using charts allowed us to compare performance metrics across different runs. The parallel coordinates plot gave us a comprehensive overview of experiment performance across various parameters. The side-by-side -side view showed us how easy it is to compare specific values against each other, even with a large number of values. We were able to compare custom metrics logged as images. Finally, the scatter plot allowed us to compare how two variables relate to each other in a large data set. If you want to learn more about how to use Neptune, head over to our resource center. This is where you'll find more video tutorials as well as public example projects, case studies, and product updates. So check that out for more detailed information.